The world of sports encompasses all sorts of competition. It includes competition between athletes of both genders on basketball courts, soccer pitches, golf courses, and other fields of play. It also includes competition between animals like this and people like this. Jack Roddy rode his horse from the eastern Santa Clara Valley foothills to the top of the rodeo profession as a world champion. Tonight, he becomes the first San Jose Sports Hall of Fame member that exemplifies the following phrase, yee-haw. That's the phrase cowboys use when they do stuff that none of us would attempt even in our most lariat-infested dreams. Somebody told me one time about steer wrestling. They said, ride a, ride in a car about 40 miles an hour and jump off and try to tackle a mailbox. That's what steer wrestling is. Jack Roddy's childhood on a ranch in East San Jose was full of fresh air, livestock, and bucking bronco dreams. He occasionally mounted his pony and trotted into town to buy candy while attending elementary school. After winning his first major rodeo competition at age 14, he was on to Bellarmine Prep and then James Lick High, but his studies often took a back seat to his obsession. He was not a kid that was that into school. He just kept drawing horses in his notebooks and he kept trying to rope his boots in class and he decided to leave school early and join the Marines. College was not initially on Roddy's radar, but after a Marine tour of duty, someone tipped him off to an educational opportunity at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, one that came packaged with riding and roping. Cal Poly was known as the Notre Dame of the West for rodeo. So that was really the carrot that got Jack to go to college. In 1959, he acquired more points rodeoing than any other cowboy when he went to the NIRA Finals, which is the National Intercollegiate Rodeo Association. It was there that he won the bulldogging event and secured the men's all-around championship. Roddy earned a bachelor's degree in, what else, animal husbandry. He then pursued business interests in San Jose for several years before convincing himself that he could hold his own on the pro circuit with the rough and tumble cowboys of that era. Once he did learn the ropes, Roddy's ascent was dramatic. He steer wrestled his way to the 1966 and 1968 World Rodeo Championships. He was like a shooting star. It almost seemed like he couldn't lose everywhere he went. I think what set Jack apart from the other competitors in the arena was one was physical. He was six foot five. He had iron claws in his hands. The second thing that made Jack so incredibly successful was his mental acuity. He trained himself in visualization. He would go to sleep at night and practice in his mind, being on the horse, the steer going out of the chute. He would go through motion by motion every night and every day how that would work. Roddy also appeared in several movies, including one that earned a Best Documentary Oscar. Beyond the arena, Roddy was influential as a board member of the Rodeo Cowboys Association, where he was in the forefront of upgrading the sport's image. When Jack got into the business, things started to change, and he was pivotal in that change of bringing new rules about conduct in and out of the arena. And then it really changed into being a professional sport with cowboys that had managers and airplanes and tight schedules. The thing that Jack's very proud of, he wanted all the cowboys to be gentlemen, dress well, and carry that Western image which we all love so much. Roddy's efforts definitely paid off. Today, professional rodeo events draw more than six million fans annually, and last year the circuit awarded $45 million in prize money. Roddy scratched his competitive itch to win two more senior titles en route to the Rodeo Hall of Fame. He and his wife then retired to manage a cattle ranch south of San Jose before moving to a spread in Brentwood. At age 80, he can take satisfaction in a lifetime of achievements and a reputation as a campfire raconteur. You go to the most exotic place in the world, buy the most expensive dinners, drink the best wine, whiskey or whatever, but there's nothing more fun than all the guys sitting around and picking the guitar and listening to Jack Roddy's stories.
I think men like Jack don't come along very often. He has preserved and promoted the American West better than any person I have ever known. And he has a man of character, a man of great friendships, and a true all-around American. Maybe we can't sit around a campfire and swap tales with Jack Roddy, but as a worthy salute to San Jose's first and greatest rodeo star, perhaps everyone here tonight can salute him with a warm shout of yee-haw. Let's try it. One, two, three. Yee-haw. Welcome, cowboy, to your hometown hall of fame.